Hey everyone, today I will be answering the questions you asked me on my Q&A video. Before we begin, I'd like to apologize for not meeting the deadline I set for myself. I was hoping to un upload this video on Wednesday, but then I got busy. So let's get started. No, I was born and raised in Calgary, Canada. Circumstances in my life led me to move here. I am now married and am officially a US resident. There were a few reasons. Firstly, I was in an accident that really wasn't my fault, but I got blamed for it anyway. I'll explain this accident on a different question. Uh, secondly, my mom was involved in an accident a couple years, no, just about a year ago. That wasn't her fault either, and thankfully she wasn't blamed for it, but the other guy ran after the accident so I believe a dash cam might have helped identify the driver and help bring him to justice because my mom was too shaken up to even remember the color of the car never mind the make and model and what the driver looked like what happened was she was going straight through the inter intersection and the other guy was coming from the oncoming traffic and he was turning left he went when he shouldn't have, and my mom ended up hitting him. That was the last straw for me. I got a dash cam for myself, and then a little while later I got one for my mom, and I helped her install it into her car. I don't laugh at me, but I use Windows Movie Maker. I know it's very basic, but I like it. It's easy to use, I like the interface, I don't have to pay for it. The only drawback I can think of is the lack of zoom. I can't zoom in on any clips, but I just have to live with that for now. Because unless my channel becomes really big and I make a lot of money off of it, I see no reason to spend any money on buying a, a program. I have tried a few other programs, but Windows Movie Maker has been my so favorite so far. I believe the first dashcam channel I started watching was New Jersey dashcam. I didn't really start watching dashcam channels until I got my own camera and I wanted to start my own channel so I was looking to see if anyone else ha was doing videos in the New Jersey area and I discovered that it was mostly in South Jersey so I decided to call my videos Bad Drivers of North New Jersey. Yes, I have been in an accident. As I said earlier, this was the accident where I was blamed, but it really wasn't my fault. The other driver had witnesses who lied, and I was alone, so I got the short end of the stick. So, here's the situation. I was driving down an icy road, and I was approaching a parking lot, I wanted to turn into the parking lot, and the other vehicle was at the edge of the parking lot coming out of the parking lot. I hit the brakes, but it was to no avail as I was sliding on the ice. I probably could have swerved to the left to avoid hitting the other vehicle, but that was risky because there was a ditch. Uh, but they started pulling out even further, so I had to try swerving to the right towards the parking lot and I really didn't have any room to swerve any further because there was a ditch also to my right, so I ended up T-boning them. I really don't know how that was my fault because they're the ones coming out of the intersection, but they had witnesses and I didn't, so this is why it's important to have dash cam. I was pulled over once, I turned right at a stop sign during the prohibited time. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't even really wanting to turn to the right. I I did miss the sign, I didn't I didn't see it, but I also wanted to just park in a parking spot that just happened to be to the right of the stop sign directly after it, but the cop didn't buy it. He was camped there pulling everyone over. So I know I technically turned right even if in my mind all I wanted was that parking spot. That always changes because I'm actually in the construction industry, so my jobs are all over the place. 
I can be as close as five minutes away, or my furthest job so far has been 72 miles, uh, which took me just over an hour. Most jobs, though, are in the 30 to 40 minute and mile range. My first car was a 2003 Suzuki Aereo. It had a 2.0 liter, 4 cylinder, 145 horsepower engine, which doesn't sound like much, especially because it was, it was a little heavier because it had four wheel drive as well. But it handled really well because of the four wheel drive, and after I drove it for a little while, I learned the car's quirks and when to punch the gas and when to let up on the gas to be able to maneuver in traffic. That's a tough one. For the US, I'd probably pick a place with lower taxes and more open space. New Jersey is really crowded and it bothers me sometimes because I'm from a place where the population is a lot more sparse. Maybe I'd pick like Texas or South Carolina, one of those states. As for the world, uh, I haven't really thought about where else in the world I'd like to live besides Canada and the US, so for now I think I'll just pick Calgary. But for now I'm in New Jersey and I'm gonna make the most of it. I have not, although I'm sure I'd like it if I ever got the chance. The make and model is easy, the year and color are a bit tougher to answer. My dream car is a Ford Mustang, and this is because when I was a kid my dad had a beautiful 1989 baby blue Mustang GT. I love that thing. I was too young to drive, but I had a lot of fun as he drove it around, and it probably would be in my possession to this day if it hadn't been stolen by Mako Paint Shop as it was getting a repair. I truly believe it was an inside job. I can provide more information on that if people are interested, I just don't have time for this video. He also had a 94 GT a few years later, but it wasn't anywhere near as good, and it had some mechanical issues. So anyway, the Mustang is my dream car, but I have trouble picking from the 1960s ponies, the 87 to 93, or the 2011. As for color, I'd pick either bullet gray, red, or baby blue, like my dad had. Red. Also a tough question because I haven't been in New Jersey very long and I'm still learning about this state. I've sort of become drawn towards Morris County though. It's a nice area with a lot of green space and not as, it's not as crowded as Bergen County. There are a few things. One of the first things I noticed was the aggressive nature in the drivers around here. Of course there are aggressive drivers in Calgary, but it's, it's nothing compared to the tri-state area. New York and New Jersey drivers more so than Connecticut in my experience. There's a lot more tailgating, getting cut off, being refused to be let in the lane, people forcing their way into my lane, cheating traffic by cutting in line at the last second, running red lights, speeding, and things like that. Everyone in everyone is in such a hurry and it's every driver for themselves. The next thing still relates to the aggressive nature of the drivers, and that is the flashing of the high beams to send various messages. It's something that I've had to get used to and have actually started doing myself because I feel like that's just how uh, people communicate around here. Thirdly is the lack of hand-waving when someone lets you in to their lane, which, as I said, is rare. Where I'm from, you wave at the person behind you as a thank you when you change lanes in close proximity and they didn't prevent you from coming over. That doesn't happen around here. In fact, I waved at one guy in a bit of a souped-up Ricer car and he got offended, drove on the shoulder, and cut me off. I, I guess he thought I was taunting him when I was just thanking him for, for letting me in his lane, so I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for your questions, thank you for watching.